Welcome to Morning Coffee Diet, okay? I thought for me to do this special show right now, I'm going to wear my morning robe, okay? Usually I take a shower, I put on a morning robe, you know, this is, so this is my robe. This is actually, technically, if you want to call me a geek, that's fine. It's actually, technically, it's a Jedi robe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Call me a nerd. Call me whatever you want. So, all right, guys. Welcome. I know I'm starting the show five minutes early. I apologize. I just found out that my daughter's sick in school, so she wants me to go pick her up. So I guess I have to start the show a little earlier because I got to go get my daughter. Well, cat poop coffee. Okay. I am going to try Kea Kopi. Cat poop coffee. All right. This little bag that feels like there's hardly anything in here was $18. $18 for this um, coffee. So now the question is, is it worth it? Is it good? Because in some places they charge 50 bucks to $600 for a cup of this kind of coffee. Now, I'm not going to tell you the whole story about um, what kind of how, how this coffee is really made. Basically, I'll make it simple. They get an animal. Most people call it a cat, but they get an animal. They eat beans, okay? They eat the, um, they eat the coffee beans, you know, which they make coffee. And what it does is the, the beans go inside the animal, and the acids in the stomach breaks down the bean. Okay, breaks it down. So of course, to get this bean, you have to wait to the coffee. Uh, uh, not the coffee. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You actually have to wait to the animal poops out coffee, poops out the beans. Okay. Uh, they there's famous elephant coffee where elephants do the same thing. They eat the beans. They poop it out. So these people they take the beans. They they go through the poop. They find the beans. Of course, they wash it. They clean it. They sterilize. I mean, it's it's clean to the max, okay? It, it's, it's, it's truly, truly clean, all right? So, and then they go through the process. It goes through the coffee machine. You know, they bake it or, or whatever. And it's supposed to be the most clean coffee you can have. It's supposed to be like an acid-free coffee. Now, I don't know that because I never tried it. So, I decided that I found a place that had these. And like I said, it's 18 bucks for this very small one cup of coffee. All right. I'm going to go do the pour over method. Okay. Now, I took the white filter. I already watered it down because I want to make sure that this coffee is the true taste that I'm getting. All right. This, now, this water is water that I got at a PCC store that's supposed to be no lead, no nothing, because I want clarity. I want everything to be top notch, okay? Now here's my coffee grinder. I cleaned it 100% because I don't want no interference with no other bean that was in this before. So it's 100% clean, all right? There I go. Mm. Okay, it looks like, you know, just just regular beans. Just regular beans. Smells good. We pour this whole thing in there. Wow. Guys, that's it. $18, and that's all I got. Well, this coffee, I'm telling you right now, this coffee's got, better be good. Better be good. Better be the best $18 coffee I ever had. All right. Here I am. All right, guys. So, so far, I just ground it the $18 coffee. Okay. Looks like, oh, Mr. Robert Wood for the Medell Effects Show. 
is joining us on this live show because he wants to know if this if this is worth eighteen dollars. Now, guys, for eighteen bucks, this is all you get for eighteen dollars. That's it. I mean, it smells good, but for 18 bucks, it better taste good. All right. Here I go. I'm going to put it, make sure I'm doing it right. I'm going to put it in here. That is, that is basically going to be one cup. <laughs> so put this on top. Ooh. Like I said, I got this water from PCC. No lead, no nothing, very 100% clean water, which technically all the water should be clean, right? There we go. Okay. Put the top on. Woo! Man. I need to do some force magic on this, guys. So I'm going to put on my uh, my uh, Jedi uh, bathrobe. Okay? Got to do some magic on this. I, I need this to be the best copy or otherwise $18 just for that. Okay. All right. That's true. Th it's draining, guys. All right. Taking off, taking off the rope. Gotta get serious here. Now, while it's draining, here's uh, one of my toys that my daughter actually opened. And uh, if you know what this is, anybody who's on, who's watching this live, do you know who this is? Now, some of the knives are broken. My daughter broke some of the knives on this, or maybe there is three. Okay, maybe it's one broken. Who is this? Who is this? This movie was directed by Tim Burton. Okay? The actor who played this before he went crazy is um, Johnny Depp. Okay? Before he went crazy. Yeah. So. Oh, just in case you guys don't think that this is really uh, cat poop coffee, this is the... Um, all right. Edward Scissorhands. This is actually the, the toy from Edward Scissorhands. My daughter had to play with it. You know, it's, it's like one of those things you tell kids not to play with knives. So what's the next best thing? Find a toy with Ed Edward Scissorhands that has knives on it. So this is kind of a cool toy. Ah, he died. Let me look. Okay, it's no draining. Guys, right, this is this is exciting. I've been waiting all week to try this because I mean is, is coffee really worth paying 50 bucks up to six hundred dollars? I mean I guess if you have uh, all the money in the world, I guess, you know, what the hell? But when you don't have all the money in the world, you know, is it something that's you know worth it? And that's what I'm here to find out. Because it'll probably be the first and last time I ever uh you know, I might buy some more if it's really that good as an experiment in the future, you know. Well, guys, over the weekend, went to no movies, you know. Didn't go to the movies. Um, there's really nothing good playing right now. Um, but, you know, it is what it is, right? Actually, um, um. I got, uh, you know, you do those, those, those free trials, right? Those free streaming services trial. Uh, Apple TV, um, you know, it has like a free trial. They have a couple of shows on there. Um, one of the shows is called Servant. It's uh, it's that the show is run by the director who does, um, you know, The Sixth Sense, Michael Shan, whatever his name is. So he, he has a series like that spooky kind of a world. And I watched, uh, uh, they drop them uh one a week, so you don't get it all together like you do on Netflix. 
And the, but the show is really good. It's like a, a, it's about like this woman and his husband, right? The baby died uh, during birth, whatever, he died. And I, I guess it messed her up. So what they did was uh, to help her out of it, she's got like this dummy baby. Like it, it looks real, but it's a dummy. And they actually, she hired a, a nanny to pretend like the baby's real. In her mind, the baby's real. And, and so, so this nanny gets paid to, to watch a dummy. But there's a story between a story about who, where this nanny comes from. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, the husband didn't want to do with this, but the doctor told him he should go along with it. So, so one day he goes upstairs and the baby's real. He's like, whose baby is this? This ain't our baby. Our baby died. So it's a, it's a kind of a cool mystery. It's like, it's kind of weird, you know, dead baby, you know, plastic baby, nanny's watching it and she's, she's acting like it's real, but there's more to the story than to that story. So it's actually not a bad series. Um, I wish, I wish that kind of a series would just drop all at once, like on Netflix, but it doesn't. So it's called Servant. And it was, it's, it's actually really, really good. Let's see here. Oh, boy. Okay, guys. All right. The coffee's all drained. There we go. The moment of truth. The moment of truth. Cat poop coffee. I'm about to take my first sip ever in cat poop coffee. Okay, this half a cup was $18. There you go. I'm going to be honest. I am going to be 100% pure honest with you guys. This coffee is nothing special. I'm going to be I'm going to be completely honest. There is an actual um uh, a little bit of an aftertaste, which I'm surprised because I, I heard this coffee, you know, it's like all the acids are, are out of it. And, it, you know, it's supposed to be like most purest coffee. And uh, maybe I just need to drink more of it to kind of uh, get used to it. But as of right now, it's not worth 18 bucks. It's not worth 18 bucks. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. It's it, it's not, you know. But it's fun to try, you know. Maybe some expert, some coffee drinker expert, could probably you know taste it with his tongue and tell you, uh, you know, what ground it grew out of. Kind of like those wine people, you know, what year. I can't do that. Only thing I can do is tell you what I feel when I drink it, and it's not worth 18 bucks. I don't know if I would even do this as an experiment for somebody else to try it. You know, maybe, maybe I will. You know, maybe someday I will. But, yeah, it's like there's a bitter taste to it. It's bitter. It, 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 it's not like that, that bitter taste where, um, you, you know, like some cheese, some fancy cheese. Um has like a bitter taste, but but it's good. You know, it has that. You know, you like that bitter flavor. This one is just, just bitter. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this right now. If any of you guys watched my shows from last week, you saw my show where I drank a lot of coffee that was from uh, Manchester, UK. Um, let's call both here. Let me get one of those back. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. This is this is what I'm talking about. Okay. This is one of the copies that I received from Manchester from one of my listeners, which I appreciate it. And 
I don't know what the uh, the price is of this coffee. You know, I don't know if it's a regular grocery store you buy it. So I can't I can't back up on the value price of these beans. But if I'm guessing an average bag of beans in a store anywhere from 8 to 12 bucks, I'd rather buy this than this. If I'm going to be completely honest with you. This is not this is this is actually good coffee. I've been drinking it all week. Um, all the bags they sent me, this this is all I have left is just this a little bit. I have, I've been drinking. I was supposed to save this last bag for a show, but I ran out of coffee, and so I started using it. So, and I'm gonna be honest. I, I like this coffee better than this, and I was really expecting. I don't know what I was expecting, but when I hear stories how. The acids break it down, and, and you know the flavor is just like so smooth. You know, it's not smooth. No, and it's the same amount that I pour in for all these coffees. So there's nothing different that I did with this coffee. Which only different thing I did was I had more purified water, and you ain't gonna tell me that clean purified water is gonna change the flavor that much. You know it. It, it, it is what it is. I'm, I'm as of right now. I'm not fully impressed. Now, maybe this is their lower end cat poop coffee. Maybe they have some better cats that the acids are better in their stomachs, and, and the coffee beans are just that much better. And maybe those are the six hundred dollars. I, I can't tell you that. I can just tell you what they sent me. And it says, guaranteed to be authentic, wild, and organic. This coffee is sourced from the finest coffee plantations in Indonesia, ingested by wild Asian palm civets. So Asian palm civets are the ones who, um, you know, ate the beans and pooped out the coffee. So maybe I'm just not, maybe I'm just not used to it. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe I'm just not used to it. But... I always need to be honest and, you know, do my first, exp you know, my first taste expressions, okay? Some coffees do get better over days. Uh, the Social D coffee to me did that. I liked it, but it actually got better and better and better. But the problem is with $18 coffee, I'm not going to buy more just to see if the, if the flavor gets better. To me, if the flavor doesn't hit me right off the bat, you know, it's never going to have a high score. So... I'm actually, I'm actually a little disappointed. I'm not going to say it wasn't worth it because this is fun. This is fun for me doing this. Uh, this is really fun. And I was really hoping that the cat poop copy be better. So, well, guys, I'm sorry that I didn't have better news. But i got to be honest, there is an aftertaste. It is not as smooth as I thought it's going to be. And out of all the coffees I drank, it's probably it's one it's one coffee higher than that cheap ass coffee that I had from uh, Disneyland that that already grinded coffee, which that was horrible. This is just one step higher than that coffee. Every other coffee that I've tried is better than I have here. I just have to be honest, okay? Um, you know, guys, uh, I actually have to end this <laughs> short. Like I said, I found out my daughter is sick in school, so I got to go get her. Uh, but, hey, uh, tomorrow, if you guys know, I have another channel. Actually, I do two shows on, on two different channels right now. I have a show I do weekly on uh, Gypsy Road uh, with co-host Robert Wood. Uh, we, talk, we talk about anything. Uh, we talk about the Medell Effect world. We just talk about anything that's – that's. I, I, what I do on that show is um, take a light cocoa without sugar. <laughs> I have to do that. So the show is I come up with a topic on this other channel. I come up with a topic, and my co-host doesn't know what the topic is, and then we just go from there and talk about whatever comes out. It's a very fun show. It's a, um, I, I, I like it. Um, I know a lot of people are liking it. Uh, my subscriber growth from this channel alone went from 27 to 92, uh, just within five days. My other, my other channel, 
I couldn't believe that it went up 70 subscribers on my Gypsy Road channel. So that's fantastic. So thank you guys for subscribing because it's growing. That's that's what I want to see, and that's a fun show. And I also do another show. It's kind of a uh, it's, it's it's called it's a laid off channel. It's called Laid Off, and I talk about what's it like being laid off. It's kind of a more uh, you know day to day type of deal. What I'm going through with this laid off. So it's it's I'm not saying it's depressing, but Hold on, I got a text. You need to review the Mandela Effect movie. Hey, um, you, you're right. There is a, there is a movie that you can stream right now called Mandela Effect. I, I, I went, I found it. But it's weird is six ninety nine to watch that movie. Weird. Most rentals are, are four or five bucks. But I am going to watch the movie because I, I'm going to talk about that tomorrow. On the other show, because uh, uh, I was watching uh, another uh, YouTube channel. Uh, I can't remember the full name, but the co-host was a guest star on a show called Digital Something. I, I can't remember. Maybe when I get done, I'll put it in the descriptions. And one of the guys who was on the show was named Patrick. And he was talking about the movie. And what I was impressed about his review was he said that he wasn't saying the whole movie was good or not, but there was a moment in the movie that made him um, tear up. And I, I love when I hear stuff like that because with all movies, a movie could be bad, but there could be, but there could be certain things that actually bring some feelings out. So I'm excited to actually watch that movie, and I'm going to watch it tonight. Uh, I'm going to rent it. I'm going to rent it. I'm going to check it out. And then if any of you guys want to hear about that movie – uh, jump on the channel um, at the end of this show when I get when I finish when I finish after picking my daughter I'll put uh, a Gypsy Road tag on it so you can jump on it and then tomorrow at 10:30 it's live we take questions we take everything I already have a topic that I don't tell my co-host I don't tell him because I want him to be fresh not think about it and just so I always believe in that way because I believe the truth. It's always better when you don't know what the question is or what the topic is, you know, because when people know the topics and questions, you know, they study it, they, you know, you know they kind of prepare. I don't want prepared. I want all these shows raw like this. I don't prepare. I'm not reading you the whole how gets brewed because I, I don't want to be influenced of what I'm reading. I don't want to be influenced on what somebody's telling me, you know. How they clean it extra, how they cook it longer. No, I don't want no influence. I want the truth. So when I try coffee, I don't study it. I might get you the name, you know, you know the company where I got it from. That's you know, I'll do that. You know, but everything has to be real, has to be raw, and that's what I love. And like I said, I gotta be real. This coffee is not worth 18 bucks. Only thing is, for 18 bucks, I'm gonna finish this damn thing to get every penny worth. So, so, so guys, I'm sorry to have to shut this short, but I do got to pick up my daughter um, today around noon on my laid off channel. It's called Laid Off. I'm gonna be uh, talking on there. Uh, it's more more real about being laid off. So, if you're interested in something like that, jump on that channel too. I'm gonna be there around noon after I got my daughter. So. Uh, Hey, guys, thank you very much, and I wish I had better news for Cat Poop Coffee. As of right now, it's not worth the hype. All right? Hey, guys, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you very much.